Everything's looking really much better than it was. I mean, the garden looked like a desert because we'd had no rain. C'est la vie. When I was 35, 40, 65 seemed incredibly old. I guess I didn't want to think about it. I mean, a friend of mine said uh, to his friend, you know, when I'm 65, I want you to shoot me. And then when he approached 65, he said, maybe make it 70. <laughs> Oh, you're ready waiting. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh dear. Hello, I'm I'm Sarah Deutsch. I'm a former ballet dancer and teacher. Um, I'm 83 this year. But um, I don't feel that age. And I don't think I look that age. Uh, I mean, if I was as in some universities, uh, thrown out of the door, which is then firmly locked when you're 65, that would be traumatic. I'm 84 next month, but that doesn't bother me because in my mind I'm 27. Uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Yeah, hello. How are you? Yes, please do. Yeah, how are you? All right? Yeah. That's good. Ah, retirement, I think, is a state of mind. Uh, when you do come to the end of, say, your working life, you wake up one morning and think, what am I going to do for the rest of my life? And I used to walk miles, and I always ended up here. And uh, that is when Richard, the resident keeper, I think he, I'd like to think he looked at me and thought, there's a true river man. But I've since heard that he thought I was a bit unstable and I ought to be close to him in case I fell in. But it's lovely, it is, very lovely. You suddenly know, you know, when to stop. And I wanted to leave before I started teaching badly or carelessly, because you've got young bodies in your care. I volunteer to eat some of your jam and make yummy, scrummy faces. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brian. Hello. Ian, it's the chilly man. I told you yesterday about Ian. So you in the, this this age thing? No, she's doing a documentary on yes, old people. I'm the old person. Well, it's interesting that the, fir the three people who are setting up first were all, are all pensioners. We're all pensioners. So there. We have a sense of responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do get impatient, but I think that's old age. I think it's part of old age. And the frustration of perhaps not being able to do what I want to do because your body just won't do what you want it to do as well as it did. You know, that's one of the things about um, dancers, I think, retired dancers. This is all the jams, and then there are boxes of jams as well there. And then this is all chutneys, as you can see, I'm going down. Oh gosh, I've forgotten, I've got to do those. Okay. Italian sweet peppers. Um, th those are just for personal cooking. They're dried from last year, when the bay tree was pruned. Um, I enjoy doing it, I get as much pleasure of doing it as I do did with the ballet. I mean, I love teaching. Um, and I really enjoyed 
all the different personalities of the children because they're all different and they need to be treated differently, you know, as their own person in their own right. Um, and in a sense, in a way, it's not quite the same, but there is that element of sameness with producing goodies. That's very popular. The marmalades go all the time, um, and every batch is a different colour. A lovely, lovely colour. There you go, my love. No problem. There you are. Oh, do we? <laughs> yeah, you, you've got to have a purpose. There you go, my love. Get up in the morning. No problem at all. There you go. Uh, getting old isn't all about just shutting down and thinking, oh, well, that's it. That's no good, no good for anyone. Uh, today's society, uh, I think it needs people to say hello. And when they come past the lock, they know they're going to get hello. How are you? Or if they stay long enough, they get a cup of tea. Right, we'll let you down, nice and steady. As soon as the water's level, we'll open the gates and let these lovely people out. There you go. You take care. See you on the way back. Yeah, enjoy. Bye-bye. I make mosaic sculptures. It's a squid that no biologist would recognise. Uh, don't ask me why. <laughs> it's my squid. Oops, sorry. You don't see the whole cello, but you see enough of it to know that it's a cello. And that's a cellist's hand. And I was going to put the cellist's head right here, you know, as he's doing that. And my teacher said, forget it. And she was, as always, right. <laughs> There's um, others like Easter Island Man. There you go. Wow. I love the shimmery bits. It's got a lot in common with engineering, because engineering is creative. You've got to design something new. Um, somebody with this stuff. I think that's the thing I like most. Learning is the most important thing. If you stop doing that, you might as well take up gardening or something like that. <laughs> I probably upset a lot of gardeners that way, but... Uh <laughs> yeah. It's a very difficult question to answer, actually. Um, you know, there are all sorts of things that make one happy. I love, love being in the garden. Um, I, lo I like travel. I love travel, and it makes me very happy. And just seeing, you know, sort of going up and down to London, it's no, no chore because it's lovely when I get there, because the Opera House feels like home, you know, so. Some people say, why don't you have a day off? And I say, if I wanted a day off, I could have a day off. But if by chance I'm not here, I, I want to be here because I don't want to miss anything. Or perhaps it's the fact that I'm happy and I think if you're happy with your lot, uh, that's uh, not a bad way to go about things. Uh, OK, happiness. I'm very fortunate that I've got two great children. I mean, children, they're getting on a bit now, um, who live close by me and they sort of interact with me. And that's, that's happiness. 
Ähm, ja, um, happiness in my work, especially if things are going well, and happiness when I had a wife who sadly died. Yeah. I live on my own, unfortunately now. Uh, so this is a big part of my life. I think even if, even, even if they tell me, we don't want you to give any more courses, Bob, we don't want you to do any more supervision, I'll probably sneak in and have a coffee out there uh, and talk to my friends. Yeah, it's, uh, there's plenty to look forward to. Yeah. That's me. Uh, when I wasn't as geriatric, and that's my late husband. When um, he was, well, he was young when he died, but um, that was just before taking, before we got married. I would have only married a really good-looking guy. <laughs> can assure you, very fussy in my tastes of men. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, they've got to be good physical specimens. <laughs> Sorry, I'm behaving badly now. This is my, my duty as a, an old lady. I can do that. Uh, it is, again, down to a frame of mind. Do you give up or do you have a go? Um, a lot of retired people, they have got things to do. They live a life. And there is a life when you get older. Uh, but the thing you mustn't do is sit down and feel sorry for yourself. Getting old is something we all hope to do. And if you do get old, I think, well, you're lucky. And long may it last. As, sorry, I had to wave then. There's someone waving to me over there. I knew that someone had come round. <laughs> it's all right. Cut. <laughs>